terrorists. Hold on. Here's Tara's Daily Rant. By the way, I got to tell you something. I was very, like, extremely disappointed in the RNCC and in Donald Trump Jr. for excusing Budweiser and saying we shouldn't boycott them because, you know, they donated half a million dollars to the RNCC. Really? See, because last time I looked at the RNC and the RNCC, they weren't doing much to help Republicans get elected. I don't care who pays them. And I am not interested. You can't buy me for half a million dollars. Oh, they'll write us a check. Oh, cool. So we'll just uh, let them go on canceling us as long as they write a check. And we're bought for only half a mil? Good gosh, if we're going to sell out, we got to get 50 million. That's what the Democrats would do. Half a million dollars. That's what we cost. It's exactly right. Donald Trump, we shouldn't boycott. Yes, we should. Yes, we should. Yeah, we should boycott. Oh, well, if they write a check, it's okay. No, it's not okay. It's not. It's not okay. Oh, we wrote a check. So we're going to go ahead and cancel people on your side. We'll destroy their lives for questioning us. Oh, and by the way, We're going to put this in every ad, every last one, because that is the goal. That is the goal of the CEI rating, as the New York Post explained it. Every company gets a social credit score rating of up to 100%, and you must, must regurgitate the woke talking points or your score goes down. Look, these companies need us to help them resist because they are creating a world in which every single nook and cranny oozes woke. Even when it's M&M's, Budweiser beer, what do those things have to do with woke? Nothing. But they want to make sure nothing can exist in our society. Nothing, no nook, no cranny, nowhere that doesn't ease woke or else. Terrorists want it. Hear the Terror Show weekday mornings on News Talk 98.9. W-O-R-D, the voice of the Carolinas.